Okay, well, to all my Toolaholic friends, I've got another invention coming out, and this video is a commercial. This is a specialty tool, and it's taken me about four years to get from this to this. This is specifically for turning out the insides of bowls, and I'll show you a little bit about how it works. So what this tool rest is, this is A2 hardened drill rod. That's standard for all these drill rod type tool rests. This one is set at a 15 degree angle this way, which pretty much matches the inside curve of a 12 inch diameter bowl. And the whole idea with this one is that you set the post up on the rim of the bowl and as you turn out the inside, the only thing you have to do is pivot it into the inside of the bowl rather than wiggling your banjo all over the place. I do have three different sizes. This is my medium. I've got a small and a large, and I'll show you a little bit more details about that over here. This is kind of a limited production run, mostly figuring out how to get these things made, so I don't have a huge variety on post sizes. I do have a 5 8 inch post for the mini lays. I've got posts for the 16 inch lays, the 20 to 25 inch lays, and some 30 millimeter posts for the Vic Marks. Grizzly and one of the Lagunas has 25 millimeter posts. I'm not able to accommodate those now. That may happen sometime in the future when these are all sold and I'm not sure exactly what the future of these are going to be, but um, it is a nice toy and it is one of my go-to tools and I could not turn bowls without them. Another point on these, basically to keep the cost down, I am not painting them. Um, powder coating would add a lot to the costs, and I know most of you out there are frugal like I am, which is a polite way of saying cheap. So this will rust unless you paint them. Tape it up like that. Most of your rattle cams will work. Uh, this one's some paint that my daughter had left over from a project, and it is mambo pink, not hot pink. But basically, this will keep them from rusting, or me, I don't know if it's going to make any difference to me at all or not. I um, have to wait a year or three and see how they work. And this was an afterthought, of course. Looked good on paper, but when I got it out to the actual lays, it didn't work quite as well. And this bevel right here. For 16 inch lays and the 20, 24, 25 inch lays, this is not a problem. For the 14 inch lays, to get it down to height, basically this sits about right where your set screw is gonna to have to go. So 12 inch lays, the mini lays will work. 14 inch lays, no. 16, 20, 24, 25 inch lays, they work fine. Okay, so this is my medium size inside bowl rest 7.5 means it's about seven and a half inches from the post out to the very tip there and the idea with this hook is that if I want to work on the outside rim there I can pivot it work that and then as I start to turn out the inside all I have to do pivot it here start working out and as I hollow out the middle all I really have to do is just pivot the tool rest in. You don't have to take and move your banjo and wiggle it all over the place. And this hook down here basically allows me to come through the transition and go across the bottom. And the idea with the 15 degree angle here, this is a 12 inch diameter bowl. I can keep this in a lot closer than I could if this was straight up and down. So this medium size rest here, this is what I use for most of my family size bowls. Um, 12 to 14 inch, it works pretty well for that and I can get fairly deep on them. So this is my small size one, 5.5, so five and a half inches from the post out to the tip. And again, it's the same idea. Just pivot it in as you turn out the inside and you don't have to move the banjo all over the place. And I consider this one good for more like personal size bowls or smaller bowls. It's not quite big enough for the family size bowls. And this is my large size one, so 10.0, 10 inches from the post out to the tip. I consider this one to be the good one for using for like large platters or if you make great big bowls. It's a little bit too big for this one, but it can still get down into the inside fairly well. And I, as I said, this is a specialized tool for doing the insides of bowls. I have played around with it a bit on the outsides of bowls. You can line this up so you can work the base before you reverse it or after and you can kind of come out to the sides like this 
it does work. I don't think it works anywhere near as well as a specialized outside bowl rests. So this is the outside bowl rest from Robust. Uh, this is definitely my favorite outside bowl rest. And as you can see, this curve much more closely matches this. So basically your tool overhangs will be, stay about the same going from base to rim. These just work better than the specialized inside bowl rests.